Hello and welcome to the channel of Venus Flytrap World. In today's video, I would like to share with you how to feed Venus flytraps with dead bugs. Technically, Venus flytraps produce their own food through photosynthesis, so they can survive without ever catching any bug. But it is beneficial to feed Venus flytraps if they don't have access to insects. So for example, if you have placed your plant outdoors, you'll have plenty of opportunity to catch its own bugs. But indoors, it won't have the same access to insects. So it is best for you to feed it and provide those additional nutrients and boost the diet of your plant. Why should you employ dead bugs? Well, it doesn't really matter. You can employ live bugs or dead bugs. The difference just relies in how you actually feed the plant, and I will explain it in just a little bit. But there's also other benefits from using dead bugs. It is very easy to purchase, in this case, freeze-dried mealworms or floodworms or crickets in the pet store. They usually cost about $10 for a whole bottle, and this will last you for, for months or, or even years if you just have a couple of plants or maybe only a single plant. So it is inexpensive, it is practical, you have like plenty of supply for a long period of time. And also, it is a lot easier to feed a plant dead bugs than live bugs. With live bugs, you have to be comfortable with picking up the insect, placing it inside the trap. Some people actually find it kind of gruesome, so they don't actually enjoy it, and for that reason, they prefer dead bugs. In this video, in just a little bit, I'll show you a close-up of these two Venus flytraps that I have right here, and I'll show you specifically how you fit them. And then I'll give you some tips after we fit them to continue to provide for your plant, but never end up harming it or overfeeding it. So now let's get started by preparing the food. Let's prepare these mealworms. The first step is to prepare the feed or the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by rehydrating them. I'm only feeding a couple of plants today. So how about a few of these mealworms? right here and to be able to maximize their hydration I'm going to break them up in this container just take your time and break them all up until they are all looking like a powder done this is definitely too much for only two plants but I think I'll use the rest to food to feed the remainder of my other carnivorous plants so let's see okay it's pretty much powder like now we're going to add some water we have some distilled water right here Moisten it. Now let's mix it up. You can continue to moisten until it starts looking like a paste. It doesn't have to be perfect. The only thing we're trying to do is to rehydrate the bugs and also to break them up so we can pick the appropriate size for the trap that we're feeding. We can add a little bit more water. I like to use chopsticks to mix them up and I also use them to actually feed the plant. All right, I think this will do. Now we'll feed the first Venus flytrap. I have selected this specific trap to feed because it is large so it should be very easy to be able to drop some food inside of it and also it's quite easy to be able to observe the trigger hairs. As you notice in 
both of the lobes, in the one on the right and the one on the left, you see a triangular pattern of filaments. Those three filaments are trigger hairs. The trap will only close if you stimulate those trigger hairs twice within a short period of time. So when I put the foot in there, I need to be able to touch them at least twice and then the trap will start to close. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the bug paste that we made and drop it inside the trap. Generally, the rule is to pick a piece of, of bug or a bug that is maximum one third of the size of the trap. You don't want to pick such a large bug that the plant will give up digesting it. Instead, it's better to pick actually a bug that is in the smaller end. And in this case, since we have a paste, then it's much easier to select it. I like to use chopsticks to do this operation. So I'm going to go close and I'm going to drop the foot right there. I'm going to try to push it to the center. And since I activated those three hairs, then the trap closed. But as you might have noticed, it's not completely closed. This is because Venus fly traps only really consume live bugs. So we have to trick the plant into thinking it has just caught live prey. So we're going to press the sides of the trap. Of the trap. In this case, I'm using the chopsticks, which are relatively soft and easy to use. And I'm just going to tap. There is no specific time that you spend tapping the sides of it. You just continue to do so for about a minute or so. And then you will notice that the, the leaves were just closed completely. Just continue to stimulate. Not do it too hard, but just do it enough so those trigger hairs get rubbed against the food that we just dropped. And then the plant will start believing that it caught live prey. And then it will actually get the juices flowing. So it will start producing enzymes. And it will start digesting the bug. It's almost closed. So what I'm going to do is once you tapped it enough and you notice that it has closed, then just leave it alone and continue to watch it for the next few minutes. If it reopens, this means that it didn't receive enough stimulation. So you can continue to tap it and activate those trigger hairs. But if not, then it will start digesting it. And then the process should continue. Now let's go ahead and feed the second Venus flytrap that we have right here. This is the second Venus flytrap. We'll be feeding this trap right here. It's also a good size. And even though the video doesn't show them, I can kind of see the trigger hairs, so it shouldn't be too bad. This time I'm going to try to drop the food closer to the center, and then we'll stimulate. Oops. There you go. So it's the... good. Now while I go ahead and stimulate, I'll tell you a few tips to be able to feed your Venus flytrap in the future. You notice that we use bugs exclusively to feed these Venus flytraps. Please continue to do so. Do not experiment with human food. Venus flytraps are actually designed to capture insects or spiders. Do not go too crazy experimenting with, with human food. You actually end up harming the plant. Also, when you feed a Venus flytrap, it is only necessary to feed one single trap of the whole plant. So do not feed each and every single trap. Instead, just pick a big one or at least a medium sized one and feed it. Venus fly traps do not need to be feed, fed uh, too often. They are actually happy if you feed them once every two to six weeks. So just keep that frequency going. They're in dormancy in the winter month. 
they actually do not require to be fed at all, so you can uh, stop for three to four months. Yeah, this one closed pretty fast. And if your Venus flytrap is outdoors, you probably don't need to feed it manually since it can catch its own prey, but you can do it for fun every once in a while if you like to do so. Indoors, sometimes Venus flytraps do catch some bugs, but it is a lot more rare. So I do encourage Venus flytrap owners to be able to feed them. If you would like more information about which food to use for your Venus flytrap, some the complete list of insects that you can employ, I actually have a very detailed article at venusflytrapworld.com slash food where you can find all that information. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you found it helpful.